Your clarinet is out of tune, but you don't need to panic. clarinetists. Recently we've heard a few questions about how well and poorly our clarinets play in tune. I decided to spill a few pixels on this topic rather than ink, just to shake things up. When you play clarinet, people are expecting to hear equally tempered pitches from you at something close to A440. This goes for session recording clarinetists like me, school band members, concerto soloists, and anybody playing Western classical or popular music. The problem, no clarinet on earth is manufactured to play in tune by that definition. A clarinet could be manufactured to play more in tune by that standard, but trust me, you probably don't want that. Everything about your clarinet is a compromise. Be it a $10,000 masterpiece, a blue clarinet from Amazon, or an eBay roll of the dice like this one. Intonation is just one of the elements of your clarinet that designers and manufacturers compromise on. Sure, Yamaha could release a brand new clarinet made from some space age material with 47 keys and enough different model types to suit dozens of different playing styles. In doing so, Yamaha will have made a clarinet with the world's best tuning scale, but at a price nobody wants to pay. Ergonomics, playability, portability, not to mention profit margins, would all suffer badly in this hypothetical business venture. What you can reasonably expect from a good clarinet designer are intelligent compromises that flatter most common playing styles and read mouthpiece combinations. And this is where your value judgments come in. Have you noticed that many keys on your clarinet are involved in the production of several different notes? For example, do you want the pad height of your left hand C sharp G sharp key adjusted such that the high F is perfectly in tune, but the G sharp below it is quite sharp? Or would you like your E flat A flat pad adjusted such that the tone is resonant, but a little sharp, or fuzzy, but more close to being in tune? Have you considered how having that pad too low might affect the pitch of your D above the stave? These are value judgments only you can make, and they're ones you can make today. Here's some good news. No matter what clarinet you have, the procedure of having your clarinet tuned to your tastes is the same. Step 1. Take measurements. If you're not measuring it, you're not managing it, as the corporate cliché goes. You can make your own spreadsheet, or you can DM me for mine. It should only take 10 to 20 minutes, and it will give you a good idea of which notes on your clarinet might need some attention. Here's a time lapse of me filling in the spreadsheet. It goes without saying, of course, that if your whole instrument is around 15 or 30 cents sharp or flat on average, consider reforming your technique or changing your barrel and or mouthpiece. Having your clarinet mechanism adjusted should usually be a last resort. Step two, make some decisions. Let's say you found a few notes on your clarinet that require unacceptably cumbersome vented fingerings or radical embouchure adjustments. Here are some things to keep in mind if you decide you want to move some keys around. There are very few notes on the clarinet that you can adjust in isolation without affecting any other notes. Factor this into your decision making. If you want to flatten one note a little, but doing so flattens another note a lot, consider if it's worth the compromise. You can easily and safely test the effect of lowering a pad's height on some notes like this. Do this to test if such adjustments will be worth the fuss. Because it's generally easier to flatten rather than sharpen most notes on the clarinet, 
It's probably not necessary to have any notes that are around 10 cents sharp professionally adjusted. On top of this, and I do hate to say it, most people perceive the relatively flatter of two pitches when played together to be the one that's out of tune. Many notes can be adjusted by changing the height of the pad above the tone hole. Be aware though that the tone of the note can become fuzzy if the pad is too close to the tone hole and honky if the pad is too far away. This is something you must consider if you decide to raise or lower a pad. Some tuning adjustments on your clarinet can only realistically be made with expensive clarinet surgery. When buying a new clarinet, it's important to test the pitch of notes which are the hardest to adjust down the track. Undercutting, drilling, and filling are expensive. If you can avoid it, do so. Step three, consult an expert. This is the easiest step. Adding cork to keys and slightly adjusting a clarinet's mechanism is pretty standard stuff for them. Step four, keep measuring. It's all well and good to own a well set up clarinet, but it's you who must know what's coming out of it. Don't only trust your ears to play in tune. Your ears can become accustomed to off tuning. And after time, you can hear your own playing as perfectly in tune, only to check with a tuner and find out that you've been forcing your colleagues to lip up a quarter tone since 2017. Thank you for watching. If you find value in these little lessons, please like and share this post. And never hesitate to leave a comment. I really appreciate your contribution.